Can a female, can a woman have an erection? Can a woman have a morning erection? What causes a woman to have erections? In fact, I've never heard that a woman has clitoral erections. When? Please. Hmm. Enlighten me. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm Gwendolyn Halle, your seasoned medical microbiologist and I'm popularly known as the medical professional with the difference because I bring you the juice like no other. If you're a returning subscriber, I want to say I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. <laughs> and if you just hopped on this channel, along this video, and you're watching me for the first time, join the family. <laughs> and if you have been watching, and sharing, and commenting, and you have never smashed that subscribe button, please do so. Join the family. I'm so excited this morning, and I'm connecting to you with so much love and joy in my heart. I'm so happy to have you guys as my family. And also, you inspire me to be better day by day. Thank you all for all your comments. Thank you for all your encouragement. Thank you for all your questions because you make me read more. You make me study. You make me do so much research. And you make me a better person. And I make sure I deliver the best. La creme de la creme. Let's roll in. Welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about female erections, clitoral erections, or female morning wood, or female morning erections. Now, a lot of people are wondering, is it possible for a woman to have clitoral erections? Oh yes, women do have clitoral erections. They do. And how is that possible? The same tissue that the penis is made up of is the same tissue that the clitoris is made up of. Trust me, when a baby is in the mother's womb, at about two weeks, the penis and the clitoris are the same. And it's very difficult to determine if it's a male or a female. And it's only as the chromosomes, the X and Y chromosome and the XX chromosome begin to show themselves in the child's body that the penis grows and the clitoris grows. On a vagina is formed and the penis and everything concerning a man's manhood is being programmed to be formed in the man's life. And that's the same for a female. So it's very possible for a woman to have clitoral erections, morning erections. And I also want to let you deep on this big secret. You see, in order for the clitoris to be kept healthy, there needs to be constant flow of blood towards the clitoris. Constant flow of blood. And this is not only when a woman is aroused it happens even by reflex you know and as blood moves and circulates all through our body you know there's always circulation around that area and even the penis so during arousal imagine the rush of blood that goes towards that area and the clitoris is as sensitive as the meals penis i'm telling you and this is why all through my homemade viagras i always do for men and women and if i do a video on work hard erections i always talk about the clitoris but a lot of people just limit erections to men women have a lot of erections and when do those happen and why does it happen at those times it happens in the mornings that's because there's a high level of sex hormones, of oestrogen at that time. Just as a man has a high level of testosterone in the morning hours, so does a woman have. So it's very important that both male and female should plan to have morning sex. And this is particularly for those who have high blood pressure, 
a, a high blood sugar and other form of health complications or vaginal dryness or any form of thing. Schedule your cuddling and your intimacy around that time because your sex hormones are at its highest, at its peak. Another time is during sexual arousal. Now, when a woman has a sexual desire, and this could be spontaneous or this could be reflex, and I will talk about this in detail in another video. Spontaneous could be that maybe she hears something, she sees something, she's watching a movie, she hears some romantic movies, or she hears some sweet words from her husband automatically, or she watches a sex scene on a TV and it triggers her. Automatically, there's a rush towards her clitoris. That, that desire begins to stimulate that area. That arousal begins to stimulate that area, send blood towards that area. And then you have the reflex. That, is, that comes by touch, caressing, and, you know, all form of foreplay. That can get a woman wet and juicy. Bear in mind that clitoral erections are not only linked to sexual activity. A woman can also get clitoral erections through friction. Friction with her underwear, friction maybe with her bed sheets, friction maybe with a pillow or any form of thing. She could get just any form of clitoral stimulation that could cause a reflex for her to have an erection. So what is the take-home message or what is the takeaway message? Is that as a woman and as a man, do not minimize clitoral erections, stimulations, and even orgasms from clitoral stimulation. And even stimulating the clitoris for vaginal lubrication. And also taking homemade Viagras that can increase blood flow towards the clitoris to increase a woman's sex drive, libido, performance, and stamina. Most places around the world, in most communities, sexual function or sexual uh, 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 arousal or sexual enhancement is mostly done or focused on the male. Women are hardly given a spot where they can enjoy their sexual health, intimacy, great stamina, great sex drive, great desire, great pleasure. It's mostly looked upon like a woman is just supposed to wait for a man to enjoy everything. So I want to call on every male and female listening to me. And this is for matured people, matured content for people who are married or in a relationship. Please, try and understand the clitoris. And I want to add something briefly. If you are a woman who has been circumcised, I've done a video on, on um, having sex after female circumcision. And I will leave this link at the end screen so that you can watch. If your clitoris has been taken off, Instead of whining over it, and if you don't have money to do a good surgery for yourself, focus on these homemade drinks I am giving you. It will keep your labias, your vaginal lips, you know, sensitive. You are still producing oestrogen. That is one key to an, a great orgasm or great pleasure. And if your you had, a, let me say, a third degree female circumcision. Let me say, all your labials were taken out and your clitoris was taken out. No problem. If you don't have money to go for surgery, focus on these homemade Viagras, watermelon, whatever I'm giving you. And I'm telling you that they will plump up the walls of your vagina. They will make them so sensitive that even just the opening of your vagina can give you great orgasm and great pleasure. Thank you for joining me in today's class. I remain your seasoned medical professional, Gwendolyn Haller.